ati muni baba mi o emi mo baba ti muni ye 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 bore bo se kite kite yere bo se ki moruba ti ke ye geri bo ko si agayaba emi mo baba ti muni o obo obo se kite kiri amaye ki boro bo ko se ki amaya ba kirida o saki amari ke bo so ko se ki amare ke bo skeda o ngbe nu mi emi ngbe nu re emi mo baba ti muni baba mi o emi mo baba to ni mi yebo 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 re yebo se kite kite kiri e mo robo se kati kati ya baraba emi mo Baba to ni mi o o ngbe nu mi emi ngbe nu re emi mo baba to ni mi baba mi o emi mo baba ti eje emi mo baba ti eje o o ngbe nu mi emi ngbe nu re Emi mo baba ti eje baba mi o emi mo baba to ni mi yebo 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 re ke se ka ti amare ke bo sokote ki abaya ba emi mo baba to ni mi o o ngbe nu mi emi ngbe nu re emi mo baba to ni mi Baba mi o emi mo baba to ni mi yebo yebo re ke bo se ka ti agare mo ko se ke te ke ya burubu se ki ya emi mo baba to ni mi o o ngbe nu mi emi ngbe nu re emi mo baba to ni mi baba mi o emi mo baba to ni mi Yebo, yebo ri bo su koti ke yere ge bo si ke te ki yaba. Emi mo, baba to ni mi o. Ongbe nu mi, emi ngbe nu re. Emi mo, baba to ni mi. Awa ilo. Calling your name every day. Your name is the same. How I love calling your name every day, every day. Your name is the same. Say Jesus, Jesus, oh Jesus, Jesus, how I love calling your name. Is my Jesus, Jesus, oh Jesus, Jesus, every day, every day. Your name is the same. How I love calling your name every day, every day. Your name is the same. Father, we thank you this morning. Thank you for this week of your lighted word. Thank you for shattering every darkness of our life. The darkness of sicknesses. The darkness of ignorance. The darkness of sins and iniquity. The darkness of oppression and afflictions. Thank you, Father, 
for your lighted word. Thank you for this week of lighted word. Receive our praise in Jesus' mighty name. I welcome everybody to this fine altar of Rabuni this morning as this new week begins. As this new week begins, in the name of our Father and of His Son and of the Holy Spirit. Receive our praise, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. I want you to pay diligent attention to a phenomenon called service. Some cars, some automobile don't get service until after six months. Some don't get service at all if you are driving an electric vehicle. the phenomenon called service. I'm just sharing this little secret with you so that the knowledge of it will bring light into your life and shatter every darkness around you. The phenomenon called service. I don't know how you do your own. The purpose of a weekly service at the beginning of every week is to receive a word for the whole week. It's like you put fresh fuel to fire your destiny engine to propel like a rocket and run through the week, leaping over obstacles. Clearing every, leveling every mountain. This weekly service is energy packed. And especially on this water, it is so good that we couple it with the flesh and the blood of Jesus at the communion table. So that is enough to energize us for godliness and righteousness for the rest of the week. That is enough to receive the fuel of momentum. The prophecies have gone forth. The weekly service is renewal of those prophecies. When you grab those prophecies, you run with them. So this weekly service, particularly beginning of the week, Sunday, 
is an energy infusing service to catapult us to run the race of destiny successfully for that week. Many people came into my inbox during the week that just ended and they were making references to the service and the prophecies of Sunday. They were sharing testimonies of how the weak, the pleasure of wickedness was utterly destroyed in their lives. So they received the word. They embraced the word and ran with it. And they encountered the light the word carried. And the darkness of wickedness in any area of their lives was shattered and utterly destroyed by the lights carried by that word of prophecy. Another new week is here. Are you ready to receive the baton of prophecy to run and win the race of this new week? Thank you, Father. We bless your name, O Lord, as we confess you that you are the Lord. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. We bless. Your name, O Lord, as we confess you that you are the Lord, you are the Lord, you are the Lord. We bless your name, O Lord, as we confess you that you are the Lord. Power to receive the lighted word of God. Power to receive the lighted word of God. Follow me to the book of John chapter 1. Made the impossibility possible. He made the impossibility possible. Possible, possible. He made the impossibility possible. He made impossibility possible. Jehovah Nisi made impossibility possible. Jehovah Jare made impossibility possible. Possible, made impossibility possible. Jehovah Nisi made impossibility possible. Possible, possible, he made impossibility possible. He made impossibility possible. Power to receive the lighted word of God. Permit me to take this scripture and read with you. It's the most famous. Scripture in the Bible. Some people don't remember how some chapters started. After Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, John chapter 1, 
the beginning of it is the most famous. Both Christians and unbelievers can quote it for you. The fame of this scripture is a game changer. It's a game changer to every true believer. In the beginning, there is only one personality that has no beginning and has no ending. His name is Alpha. His name is Omega. He has no beginning. So you can't catch him. He has no beginning. You can't catch him. You can't define him. But all of us, we have a beginning. All of us have a beginning. But there is a God that had no beginning. That verse 1 of John chapter 1 is loaded. It's a whole message on its own. If we have all the time, but we don't have that. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. What is that thing you have been procrastinating about? What is that thing that you desire to start? What have not started, forces invisible are hindering you, delaying you, and you have yet to start that thing. What is that good desire of your whole life? Uh, I will start tomorrow. I will start next week. Let's come down to material things. I want to build a house. I wish I can buy a lunch. I wish I can buy a car. I wish I can marry. I wish my God or this spouse will come and encounter me. I wish my head will spring forth speedily. I wish I am pale and earthy and not on a sickly bed. There is always a beginning for something. What is that thing you want to begin? I share this straight message with you today. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. If you understand what is in this verse one, in the beginning of this new week, Sunday, you will go far. You will go far. If 
Every breakthrough has a beginning. What is that desired breakthrough of your life that you desire, but you have not even started it? You have not entered it. What is that breakthrough? In the beginning was the word. The word was the God, and the word was God. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God, and the word was God. This is loaded. If only you can understand it. If only you can digest it. If only you can plug into it. In the beginning was the word. So your breakthrough that you desire as a beginning. Lay your right hand over your head. And take these prayer points after me. By the power of the word at the beginning, by the power of the word of beginning, you, my desired breakthrough, I don't know what your own desired breakthrough is. Is it financial breakthrough? I'm still standing on John chapter 1, verse 1. What is your own desired breakthrough? You want your head to spring forth or break forth immediately so that you can stand up from that bed of sickness, from that bed of infirmity. Is that your own case? Is your case that of barrenness? And you need the beginning of fruitfulness. I am not you. So I don't know what you want to begin, what you want to begin in your life. But there is a word that is called beginning. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God, and the word was God. What do you want to begin that you desire in your heart? Lay your right hand on your head now. I've given you enough time to meditate so that you can assemble and gather together the things you want to begin that you have not begun. Turn it into prayer. Stand upon John chapter 1, verse 1. I don't have all the pleasure of time. I don't have it. But we can stand on one, John chapter 1, verse 1 for the next 10 hours, praying diversity of prayers associated with that John chapter 1 verse 1. Just one verse. I've told you it is the most famous scripture in the Holy Bible. After Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. This is the next most famous. Are you ready? Have you gathered the things you want to begin that you have not begun? Is it the beginning of your financial breaking? Is it the beginning of your fruitfulness? Is it the beginning of your success after so many years of failure? Is it the beginning of your progress after so many years of stagnation? What do you want to begin? There is a word 
to stand upon. There is a word to stand upon. In John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. I don't know how to hear God. God said that word is me. Can you read that word? Can you meditate on that word? You are looking for God. God said that, that word you carry in your hand. That is me. That word you carry in your hand. That is me. That is me. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. What else do you want? Do you know how to turn the word into God? How can you carry the Holy Bible and you want to say, when will I carry the presence of God? Inside the word is the presence of God. For the word was God. And he's still God. And if we continue to be God, lay your right hand on your head now and take this dangerous prayer by the power of the word of beginning. You, my desired breakthroughs, it's left to you to now mention what is that desire breakthrough, whether it is wife you are looking for, whether it's godly husband you are looking for, godly wife, whether it's health you are looking for, whether that desire breakthrough is finances, whether that desire breakthrough is pregnancy and a healthy child, whether that desire breakthrough is safe delivery. I don't know what is thing that you want to begin today. It's the beginning of a new week. So it is good to pray a prayer of beginning at a time and season for it. The beginning of a new week is a time and season for praying prayers of beginning. The Holy Bible started from Genesis as they were assembling it. That is the book of beginning. God now gave us a chance, second chance. You are not a Genesis Christian. You are not an Exodus Christian. But when you get to the New Testament, John chapter 1, verse 1, God gave us a new beginning. In case you miss it in Genesis, God is giving you another chance this morning. We are in the beginning of a new week. Time and chance happen to them all. The race is not to the fastest runner, the swift. The battle is not to the strongest warrior. It's not muzzle. Time and chance happen to them all. Being at the right place at the right time. Being at the right place at the right time. Being at the right place. And this beginning of a new week is the right time. And this altar, this morning, is the right place where this prayer of new beginning is being prayed. And this month, August, is the month of new beginning, new birth. What else do you want to begin? It shall not escape your life this month. Particularly this week that we are tapping into this dangerous revelation. Lay your right hand on your head again. By the power of the word of beginning. By the power of the word of new beginning. You, my desired breakthroughs, begin now. Combat my life. Elevate my destiny. Promote my life now.
Begin now. Begin now. Begin now. Begin now. Begin now. Begin now. Begin now. Begin now. In Jesus' mighty name. By the power of the word of beginning. By the power of the word of new beginning. You, my desired destiny breakthroughs. Begin now, begin now, begin now, begin, 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 now, begin, now, begin, now, begin. Begin now, begin, 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 now, begin, 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 now, now, begin, 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 begin. Now begin now begin 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 now begin now begin 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 in Jesus mighty name Yiba tiketi keti kabaya bakosa begin now 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 begin 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 now begin now begin now begin now begin now begin 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 now in Jesus mighty name You can't start that thing without the key of beginning. That is God's name. You are waiting for me to say Alpha. That is Hebrew word. I am not speaking Hebrew to you this morning. I speak straight English to you, those who can hear English. Alpha means begin. So you are invoking the name of God and the word was God. In the beginning was the word. That is God's name. God's name is begin. So when you say begin, you are using the hammer of begin to start that thing. You are using the hammer of begin to break every chain that is holding you start, holding you down that will not allow you to start. That hammer of begin shall work for you throughout this week. You will testify this week of a new beginning of destiny breakthroughs. That long sought hammer after at desires that you have not thought, you have only imagined. This week, by the hammer of new beginning, by the hammer of new beginning, you will begin. That thing, you will handle it. You will manifest that new beginning this week. In Jesus' mighty name. Alpha is begin. Begin now. Begin now. Begin. 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 Begin now. Begin. Now begin now begin now begin now begin now begin breakthrough. Begin, breakthrough, begin, success, begin, breakthrough, begin, begin, now, now, begin, now, begin. If you don't have any other player today, 
this simple prayer from beginning, John chapter one, verse one, we carry you far beyond your imaginations. It's a hammer that shatters stagnation. It's a hammer that shatters failure. The hammer of beginning. In the beginning was the word. You can't do anything without it. Until you get to the word, you have not begun. You are just playing around it. Somebody came to me from Canada, came to my inbox. People are so excited and so detailed when it comes to documenting affliction. She was able to tell me all the afflictions of her life. And she concluded by saying that I prayed and fasted. I said, one thing thou lackest. It's not the prayer. It's not your first things. It's the quality and intensity of the light you carry. Anybody can fast. Anybody can pray. How many people encounter light? The light that shatters and destroys darkness. I welcome you to this season of the lighted word of God. In Jesus' mighty name. In the beginning was the word. If you thought the word is just letters of the alphabet, you missed it. And the word was with God. The word for your success is not in the hands of Satan. Stop following people to villages. The word for your Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. The word for your fruitfulness is with God. We are still on verse one. And we have 17 more verses to go. Help me, Holy Spirit. In the beginning was the word. That's the hammer of beginning. Yours will begin today, Sunday. I say yours will begin with this new month. 
with this new week in Jesus' mighty name. In the beginning was the word. And that word for your glory is with God. It's not with Satan. It's with God. It's not in the hands of your enemy. It's with God. It's with God. It's with God. It's not with Satan. So Satan doesn't have a say concerning the beginning of your breakthrough this new week. The word was with God. The word was with God. The word was with God. And the word was God. Every time the word of God becomes God in your life, your situation will change. Nothing can hold God down. Nothing can stop God. Nothing can limit God. When the word becomes God in your life, you are free forever. Begin with the word. The word was with God. It's not with Satan. And the word was God. But it begins with the hammer of new beginning. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. That is a personality. Second stage. Third stage, the word became God. Carry your holy Bible. Look at it very well. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. It's not with Satan. And the word escalated. And the word exploded. The word became God. God's name is breakthrough. God's name is exceeding fruitfulness. Everything good is God. After I finish all of creating, and he look at it, he said, it's good, very good. Do you want to have a very good testimony in this new week? Grab the hammer of new beginning and begin to proclaim by the power of the word of new beginning. What new things, what great things your heart desire to begin. And begin to use that hammer, begin now, begin now, begin now, begin. Some great thing will explode in your life in this new week by the hammer and power of the world of new beginning, in this month of new beginning, in this beginning of new week, in Jesus' mighty name. Don't forget the three steps. In the beginning, you begin with the word of God. Then you challenge Satan, step two. Say, my success is not in your hand. The word was with God. So the word of success is with my God. It's not with you, Satan. Satan had only the word of failure, the word of causes, the word of sickness, the word of iniquity, the word of holiness, the word of righteousness is with God. That is stage two. Then stage three, you convert that word to God in your life. And the word was God. How do you convert the word you locate? Into God. Stage three. The word was God. The word that was in the beginning and escalated to become, to be with God, later became God. 
three stages. When you follow that three stages, those three stages, diligently, you too will explode. I have said, ye are gods. I have said, ye are gods. You can become a god over that situation. The omnipotent power of God can come upon you to trample that situation, that stagnation, that sickness, that infirmity under your feet. Trample them to death. In the beginning was the word. Stage one. Stage two. And the word was with God. That's stage two. It's not with Satan. It's with God. It's with God. It's with God. And the word became God. And the word was God. Stage three is the bomb. When you detonate that bomb, you become a God over that situation. You are no longer a slave, a beggar to that situation. Only you know what that situation is. I've given you the three stage formula today from John chapter one, verse one. I'm limited by time, but go and dwell more in that verse one. Three stage for explosion of the word of God. Start and begin with the word. Challenge Satan that the word was not with him. The word was with God. And go to state three. Explode the word to become God. This new week, you shall testify of the explosion of the word of God becoming God in your life and situations. In Jesus' mighty name. Follow me to verse two. The same was in the beginning with God. Follow me to verse three. All things were made by him. I deliberately, as my custom is every Saturday, I find one group, Bible study group or the other to join. I go around many of the groups, but some, I sit down with them and I start commenting. I start participating actively. So I joined one group yesterday. And I settled down on this verse three when we were meditating. All things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. I told them the word of God is a manufacturer. The word of God is a manufacturer. All things were made by him. Without him was not anything made that was made. Every manufactured thing came from the world. I shared a strange testimony with them in that group yesterday. I said you can manufacture longevity. By the word of God. All things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. All things were made by him. I shared that strange testimony of longevity with them in that group yesterday. Longevity is a thing. All things were made by him. 
Somebody was dying. Some people were happy. Ah, this old woman is 70 years old. She's free to go. But there are conditions attached to every life. That person happened to be my mom. There are some prayers, even in your palace and horrible states, when you pray them, and you pray them right according to the word of God, the word will become God, and God cannot die. God is eternal. All things were made by him. All things were manufactured by him. And without him was not anything manufactured that was manufactured. They expected me to run Elta Skelter to come and visit my mom on her deathbed, a 70 year old woman. I wasn't praying for prosperity. Listen to me, people of God. It's my, they called me on phone and they said my mom was dying. And I was a poor man, just trying to survive. And now, for, instead of rushing to go and visit her, I rushed to go and visit the word of God. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. I don't need to be with my mom. Let me be with the word because the word was with God. I made sure the word escalated and the word became God. Sister Shama. Amen, Daddy Jesus. The Lord bless you, daughter of Yahweh. Open to me with you. Psalm 107, verse 20. Amen. <clears throat> Psalm 107, verse 20. Okay, I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their distractions. Amen. I don't know what version my granddaughter read. But hey, my version, my own version, mentioned all their destructions. He sent his word. Thank you, Dr. Yahweh. The Lord bless you, my dear. They want me to send myself helplessly to come and stand be beside my mother's dying bed instead of rushing to visit her. I visited the world. I settled down on the world. I found myself in Psalm one twenty five. Psalm one twenty five was not talking about death now. Psalm 125 was not talking about longevity now. Where did I see longevity in the book of Psalm 125? All things were made by him. Without him was not anything made that was made. Uh, give me a word to heal my sickness. Everything in this book is the book of healing. Uh, sir, can you give me scriptures of healing? You are wasting your time. The whole book is the book of healing. 
Sir, give me prayer points for destiny breakthrough. The whole book is the book of destiny breakthroughs. Sir, uh, I have not conceived. Uh, I am barren. I am called barren. Please send me word of fruitfulness. The whole of this book is the book of fruitfulness. How then can I get or manufacture your gravity out of Psalm 125? Psalm 125 is not talking about longevity. It's not talking about death. Where did I get longevity from the book of Psalm 125? All things were made by him. All things were made by him. Stop running and dust enter. We are talking about the word. There is light inside this word. When you encounter that light, every darkness of failure, every darkness of untimely death, Every darkness of infirmity, iniquity, and sicknesses shall be destroyed. He sent his word. He didn't send himself because the word was God. So when he sent his word, he sent God to them and healed them and delivered them from all their destructions. What is that thing that is threatening fire, brimstone, and destruction against your life? Everybody say with me, the world is enough. The world is enough. The world of healing is enough. By him were all things made. Without him was not anything made that was made. The word is enough. Thank you, Father. I found myself in the book of Psalm 125. Everything in life has a purpose. In life, there is everything. There is a sign, there is a season, and a time. So even death has conditions. I said death, death, death has conditions. Longevity has conditions. When they told me my mother was dying, I said, this woman can't die. I was wallowing in abject poverty. This woman must eat the fruit of my labor before she goes. The fruit of the womb is God's heritage. I am the fruit of her womb. I have not done anything tangible for her. I don't care whether she's 70 years old. This woman can die. I found myself in the book of Psalm 125. This is a digression, but you need it. The whole of the five or six verses in that Psalm, there is nothing talking about death or longevity. How then did I get longevity from that scripture? I located longevity by revelation. Through meditation. It's meditation that brings inspiration. Inspiration is what we call light. Anybody reading it will read something else. But I was meditating, not just reading. And I encountered the light. And I sent the light to her. I don't need to rush to her bedside.
the woman enjoys some 20 years more. By the power of the word, I manufacture longevity and I set it to her. She didn't die until she reached the ripe old age of 90. She didn't die until she reached the ripe old age of 90 years. So where did I get longevity in the book of Psalm? It's condition. So don't think because I'm giving you this secret, you can use it. You can only use it if you have the revelation. I'm in Psalm 125 now. It's a digression, but you need to see what I saw. They that trust in the Lord shall be of Mount Zion which cannot be removed, but abided forever. If my mother should die now, it means she has been removed. They that trust in the Lord shall be like Mount Zion, which cannot be removed and abided forever. As the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people from henceforth, even forever. They want me to come, my siblings want me to come and join them as we all stand round about our mother, conducting final burial rites. I said, no, this woman can't die. I am the fruit of her womb. She has not eaten anything from me. I'm still wallowing in abject poverty. My situation must change. Longevity must come. This woman must eat the fruit of her labor. She can't go now. She cannot be removed now. She must abide like Mount Zion. As the mountains are round about Jerusalem. I said, Lord, even though now my siblings are round about her, but send the mountains of healing, send the mountains of longevity to surround her. The mountains that are surrounding her now are mountains of flesh. The mountains of flesh and blood of my siblings. That's nothing. I have not done anything to this woman. She is my mother. I don't know what my elders have done to her. But me, I'm almost the youngest child. This woman can go. She must eat the fruit of my labor. She cannot be removed now. Send the mountains of healing. He sent his word. He didn't go there. He said, and the word became God and healed them and delivered them from all their destruction. So as the mountains are round about Jerusalem, I send the mountains of healing round about my mom to comfort her, to heal her. So the Lord surrounds the Lord is round about his people. Those mountains of healing become the healer. It's not how many people surround the person that wants to die. It's the kind of things in the spirit that surround them. I send the word of life, the word of healing, like mountains of healings, round about her. They displaced all my siblings. And the mountains of healing surrounded her. By the next day, they gave her the phone. She was talking, hale and hearty. Hale and hearty. She lived for another 20 years before she said bye-bye. Longevity. 
and now pray the dangerous prayer in verse 3 of 125. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Let the righteous put forth their hands into iniquity. I said, Lord, if this woman is removed now, it is the work of the rod of wickedness. If you take away my mom now, if you let the enemy take away my mom now, it is wickedness. It's a rod of wickedness that beats me. This rod of wickedness shall not beat me. For your word, I said, the rod of wickedness shall not beat the righteous. If rod of big wickedness beat the righteous, the righteous will do iniquity. My father, do you want me to go into iniquity? If you know how many people who call themselves Christians that the rod of wickedness are beating so much. Somebody told me today, Papa, pray for me. I said, what happened? He said, they said I should follow them to the village. He said, but my spirit does not want to go. Because there was an affliction in her life. That affliction is the rod of wickedness. When it beats you so much, people will look at you and say, follow us, we'll go and show you something. If the rod of wickedness perpetually continue to beat the righteous, don't give me stories. The righteous will put forth their hands into iniquity. I said, Lord, I hate iniquity. I can't stand iniquity. I can't behold iniquity. Your eyes are too pure to behold iniquity. Me, I cannot behold iniquity. If my mother should be removed, then it is a rod of wickedness beating me. Every rod of wickedness beating my life. I break you into pieces. Break, 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 break. Break, 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 in Jesus' mighty name. Every rod of poverty, every rod of untimely deaths, every rod of sicknesses, every rod of affliction, be my destiny. Hear the word of the Lord. Break to pieces, 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 break, 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 to pieces, break to pieces, break to pieces, break to pieces, break to pieces, break, 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 in Jesus' mighty name. I said, if you allow Satan to kill my mother now, that is a rod of wickedness that has beaten me. That did not allow me to pamper my mother. That did not allow me to feed my mother. That did not allow me to clothe my mother. My mother cannot die now, even though she was 70 years old. I destroyed that rod of wickedness. I destroy that rod of untimely death. I destroy that rod of affliction. The next day, I called my siblings. I said, give her the phone, let me talk. It was my mother picked phone. He said, it is me talking. I said, how are you, ma'am? He said, I'm sound. I don't know what happened overnight. I am hale and hearty. There are some prayers you pray. I call them trigger prayers for one specific purpose. But as soon as that specific purpose is fulfilled, other breakthroughs will follow. There are prayers that open the door. That selfless prayer opened the door of prosperity for me. That same year, my life transformed. My life changed. Destiny breakthroughs began to bombard me. For the next 20 years, my mother was a exceedingly blessed. And did you know the beauty of that extension of longevity? I was able to minister to her, took her to the feet of the cross. She gave her life to Christ. 
she gave her life to Christ. If she had died without knowing Christ, she would have gone to hell. God gave her 20 more years. She got saved. She was, she prospered. During her final burial ceremony 20 years later, some of my step siblings came to meet me. They said, ah, ATMT law. I said, excuse me, what are you saying? He said, don't you know your mother has a nickname? I said, I don't know. Tell me, what's the nickname? He said, your mother's nickname is ATM. Automated teller machine. I said, why do they call my mother? He said, anytime he call you that, I need little money. I bomb her with money. Since she was so old, she would just give the ATM to some of my siblings. They are the one. When they two are broke, they will go and tell mama, mama, call your son. He had, she had other son. The other sons were telling her, mama, call your son. It's like I was the only son. They didn't say call our brother. Mama, call your son. They are the one that were broke. That's why they call her ATM. Because as soon as I send money to them, to her, it's an opportunity for them. She will just give them the ground withdraw, and everybody begin to rejoice. When she died, people came to meet me. They said, this woman's name is ATM. Now that she has died, don't forget your siblings. I said, no problem. God will take care. Did you understand the meaning of this little testimony I shared with you? All things were made by him, including longevity. Without him, there was nothing made that was made. So inside that scripture, I got, I manufactured the medicine for longevity. Do good, oh Lord, verse 4, unto those that be good, and them that are upright in their hearts. As for such as turn aside unto their crooked ways, the Lord shall lead them forth with the workers of iniquity, but peace shall be upon his strength. Within that 20 years, there was no ailment of any kind in her life. Let's go back to John before we close this service. Don't forget the topic. Power to receive the lighted word of God. In him was life, verse 4. John chapter 1, verse 4. We can't cover the whole 18 verses, but let's see how more verses we can before we go to the communion table. I hope as I am speaking life through the word of God, you have prepared the communion table ready. In him was life. It's a word that quickness. The word I speak unto you, they are life. They are spirits and they are life. In him was life. The word that I speak unto you, they are spirits and they are life. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Every time you catch a revelation in meditation, every time you use the excavator of meditation to dig out a treasure from the word of God, Lights 
we flip on. So the word of God is like a switch. When you switch it on, you see lights. The light that shines in darkness and darkness cannot overcome. All things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. You can manufacture any hard desire by the word of God. In him was life. And that life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness. What is your own darkness? And darkness comprehended it not. Darkness means ignorance. Darkness means foolishness. Darkness means infirmity. Darkness means poverty. Darkness means shame. Darkness means sicknesses. Darkness means reproach. And the light. Everybody has some darkness in them. Nobody is a saint here. It is the blood of Jesus that sanctifies us. It is the word of God that sanctifies us. In him was life. What is that thing you call hope? That appears the hope is dead. Is your hope based on man? And when that man died, your hope died with him. Or is your hope in the word of God? In him was life. And that life is the light of men. The light shineth in darkness. And darkness overcometh its loss. Darkness comprehended its loss. So this word you meditate on, there is a light switch there. In the depth of meditation, you can flip that light on. That light carries life. In him was life. You want a living testimony. It is in the world of life. In him was life. And that life will flip on the light you want. And when that light shines, every darkness of affliction in your life will be destroyed. When you flip on that light, you will encounter the light. That is the inspiration. Inspiration will not allow you to expire. If you are not inspired by the word of God, you expire in this world. So for you not to expire and be removed, let the word of God become your oxygen. In him was life. 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 That life carries light. Is the light of men. Power to receive the lighted word of God. Fall upon my life now. In the name of Jesus. Power to receive the lighted word of God. Fall upon my life now. In the name of Jesus. Light, strike, 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 light, strike. Light, strike, light, strike, 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 light, strike. Everywhere light strikes, darkness disappears. 
Therefore, let the lighted word of God strike in my life. Light, strike, light, strike, light, strike, 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 light, strike, light, strike, light, strike, light, strike, light, strike, 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 light, strike, light, strike, light, strike, in Jesus' mighty name. Verse 9, please. John, we are still in John chapter 1. Just follow me to verse 9 as we conclude. That was the true light which lighted every man that cometh to the world. It was in the world, and the world was made by him. All things were made by him. The world is part of the things that were made by the world. He was in the world. The world was made by him. And the world knew him not. He was in the world. The world was made by him. The world did not know its maker. The world did not know his manufacturer. He was in the world. The world was made by him. He came into his home. And his home received him not. Yaba. He came into his home. His own receipt because they don't know the ownership. Are you owned by God? Do you belong to him? Are you owned by God? He came to his own. His own received him not. This day, I baptize you in the river of word reception. In Jesus' mighty name. Do you know what reception means? When you get to hotel, they surround you like a king, like a king, like a queen. Before you see anything, they first of all take your luggage from your hand to free you from everybody. I'm telling you the meaning of reception. Receptionists don't sit down. Everybody has attention. Before you say anything, will you like coffee? I say, I want, he said, first, they pamper you from the entrance. Collect your luggage from you. Some serve you drinks. Some say, sit down. They pamper you left, right, and center. That's the meaning. He came to his own, and his own received him not. They didn't receive him. There was no reception. How can the word that you did not receive bless you? Eh, I have prayed. It's not your prayer. It's your love for the word. Oh, how I love thy law. I'm talking of David. Some of us, until we mention God, we don't mention love. David said, oh, how I love thy law. This is the book of the law. Do 
This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Thou shalt meditate therein day and night, and thou shalt observe to do all that is written therein. So it is a book of the law, but it is also a book of love. Oh, how I love thy law. Many of us hate the law, the commandments, because of the hidden iniquity in our hearts. Oh, how I love thy law. Thank you, Father. Follow me now to the table of word reception. The entrance of thy word give it light and give it understanding to the foolish. Upon this table today, every foolishness, every ignorance shall be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, how I love thy law. It's time to receive the word. Power to receive the lighted word of God. Fall upon my life now. In the name of Jesus. Power to receive the lighted word of God. Fall upon my life now. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and baptize me in the river of word reception. That is the river of light. Oh God, arise and baptize me in the river of word reception. Baptize me in the river of light. In the name of Jesus. He said, out of thy belly shall flow rivers of living water. If any man thirsts, let him come. So the word, the word of God is the river of living waters. Is the river of living water. Oh God, arise and baptize me in the river of living waters. Baptize me in the rivers of living water. In the name of Jesus. That river of living water is also the river of light. The entrance of thy word giveth light and giveth understanding to the foolish, to the simple, so that they can be outstanding in life. Every broken pieces of bread. Under the sound of my voice, be converted into the broken body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every drink, under the sound of my voice, be converted into the precious blood of Jesus, shed for the remission of our sins, Sins and redemption of our souls as we partake of this table of the lighted word of God, the word that was in the beginning with God, the word that became God, that word shall manifest in our lives in this new season. 
starting from today, beginning of the world, the beginning of the week, in Jesus' mighty name, the entrance of thy word, give it light and give it understanding to the foolish so that the formerly foolish person can become outstanding in life. That shall be your testimony beginning from this day. It is your season of outstanding testimonies by the lighted word of God. That was the true light that lighted every man that cometh into this world. He came into his own. His own received it not because they didn't know him. You will receive the word via this table of communion. The table of the lighted word. A greater understanding will dawn on you as you begin to study the word of God. After this communion, heaven will open. The light will strike. Light, strike, light, strike, light. Right. As soon as you finish hitting that communion, begin to tap your head and begin to say, light, strike, light, strike, light, strike, light, strike, 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 light, strike, light, strike, in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Receive our praise in Jesus' name. You can now begin to eat the flesh of Jesus and drink his blood from this table of lighted world. Every darkness in your life shall be completely destroyed. Whether the darkness of poverty, whether the darkness of sicknesses, whether the darkness of shame, whether the darkness of infirmity, they shall be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Fill my heart, Lord. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up. Come and change the destinies of my soul. Bread of heaven, eat me till I want no more. Fill my cup, fill it up, and make me whole. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench the testings of my soul. Bread of heaven, fill me till I want no more. Fill my cup, fill it up, and make me whole. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench the testings of our soul. Bread of heaven, fill me till I want no more. Fill my cup, fill it up, and make me whole. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up. Come and quench the testing of my soul. Bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. Fill my cup, fill it up, and make me whole in Jesus' mighty name. That is no longer an ordinary bread. That bread of heaven is the bread of light. That blood you just drank now is the blood of light. Every darkness of diabetes, every darkness of kidney failure, Every darkness of cancer inside that your body, by the light of the blood of Jesus, by the light of the flesh of Jesus that you have just eaten now, they are 
destroyed, 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 destroyed. Light, strike, 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 light, strike, light, strike, light, strike, light, strike, light, strike, light, strike, 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 light, strike, light, strike, light, strike, light, strike, e against us. Mighty name. Ibateke tebo sekayabata. He came into the world. He's the one that made the world. The world knew him not. He came to his own. His own did not receive him. I've been partake of the table of word reception. From this day, every time you settle down to read and to study the word of God, light will strike from heaven. Every darkness tying you down into stagnation, they shall be destroyed and set you free. This is the light that lighted every man that cometh into this world. The light that lighted every man. Your whole light has come. You have drunk the blood of lights. You have eaten the flesh of lights. Every darkness hiding in any area of your body, they are exposed. They are destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. Light, strike, light, strike, light, strike, light, strike, light, strike, light, strike, strike, light, strike, strike, light, strike, light, strike, light, strike, light, strike, light, strike, in Jesus' mighty name. From this day, I ordain you as a world receptionist. You will celebrate the festival of the world, the arrival of the world through meditation shall bring lights and inspiration for you. And everywhere you have expired that they have canceled you, you are now inspired by the light of God. You will no longer expire. You will no longer be canceled. You will no longer be deleted. You will no longer be rejected because light has come. Light, strike, light, strike, light, strike, 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 light, strike, light, strike, light, strike, 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 light, strike in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Abba. Receive our praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let's give to thank God. Let's give him praise. Let's give him all the adoration, all the honor. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful Father. Thank you for this service, this powerful service of word baptism. Thank you, Lord. Let this word be manifest in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for all prayers prayed here today. Thank you for speedy answers, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for this new week. Thank you for all the testimonies that is coming our way. Thank you, Lord. Take all the glory, take all the honor. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Before we close, let me share this uh, short scripture for you. The Psalm 30 verse five says, Psalm 30 verse five says, what, amen in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Before we close, let me say this, share this scripture. Psalm 30, verse 5 says, Can somebody read for us? Joy comments in the morning. Weeping may endure it in night, but joy comments in the morning. Our joy comments. Our joy comment. Say this after me. My joy comment throughout this week and beyond. My joy comment. My joy comment. My joy comment. In Jesus' 
mighty name. Amen. Shall we share the grace in fellowship, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Shout seven lighted hallelujah. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Peace, Peace in Jesus. Mighty, 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 mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we thank you. Don't forget, light, strike, light, strike, light. Light comes via meditation is the flip that switch on the light of God's word. You may read the word until you encounter the light of the word. It doesn't work for you. When that light shines in your darkness, all your darkness shall be destroyed. Welcome to your week of lighted word of God. Welcome to your week of light manifestation. Every darkness that followed you into this week, they shall be utterly destroyed. Every darkness waiting for you in this new week by the light of God's word, they shall be utterly destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. Light, strike, light, strike, light, strike, light, strike, light, strike, light, strike. Welcome to your week of lights. May every darkness contending against your destiny, breakthroughs, and hard desires be destroyed this week in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah.